What's up, radio amateurs? It's Kyle, KA5D in Austin, Texas. And it is May, and you know what that is? Six meter season. So if you guys haven't been on six meters, you should do it. And I put out this call to everyone in the ham radio community in North America. If you don't know about June VHF contesting season, it's quite possibly the most fun thing that you can do with a radio that's, that's legal. And uh, so some of you are like, well, yeah, I need to do sideband on VHF. No, actually, the rules have changed. You can do FM. However, if you really want to know where the action is in June VHF contests, it's six meter sideband. Because May and June is uh, when the e-skip um, in six meters really starts to pick up. So, you know, how do you get into it? Well, a lot of you probably have HF rigs that do sideband, upper sideband, and it probably has six meters, and you know maybe you've got no antenna for that. I got the solution for you, and it's right here. This right here is a six meter rigid dipole made out of aluminum. It is so small that I can hold it right here in my ham shack. So how do I make this? Well, this is just aluminum uh, rigid poles. They are totally tubular. Oh my God. So anyway, yeah, what is this? Like three eighths inch tubular aluminum. I use this little white piece to put it all together. This is actually a cutting board. I got it Goodwill for 99 cents. Yeah, they're that cheap because who uses a used cutting board from Goodwill? Gross, it's like buying used panties. But they make great things for insulators for amateur radio. So this is actually pretty cheap. Cutting board, 99 cents. Not gross. Application. Then you got your aluminum tubing. You can get that at any metal store or, or hardware store. Where I spent a lot of money was on the, the hardware to connect it all. You can see I've got like, you know, nice stainless steel with flat washers, lock washers, wing nuts, all stainless steel stuff. And then I got these things connected together with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of wire, which then goes into this PL259 right here. All right, and then I just cut the ends. I make sure that these guys are equal length, and I stick them on my SWR analyzer, and I cut the ends until I get it flat on 50.125 and thereabouts. So there you go. This thing is a dipole that is built to last. This thing I've had it, I don't know, I built it a few years ago. I actually used to use it on my uh, VHF rig. Now I'm using a stressed Moxon because it's a little more directional. But this guy's got great lobes. Hmm, that's what she said. Uh, you know, wherever you point it. And I've done some really great contesting, like just using this thing and an elk antenna on top of it on a pole. And that's three bands right there. So, you know, elk antenna is dual band, uh, horizontally polarized, log periodic. You take this thing. That's this, this is how I got my start in VHF contesting. Now, you know, I did, and it, you know, did pretty well from there. Now, I did do some antenna upgrades, and we actually did get uh, number one limited rover category in the June VHF in 2016 in the United States. There was that one guy in Canada. Does that even count? Anyway. So we we're number two in North America. We're, we're gunning for number one. So, you know, but in order to do that, we need to hear from you. So I'm telling you, go spend a little bit of money on this little setup right here. You can make your own dipole antenna. It's rigid. Clamp it to a pole. Put it up just a few meters and you're good to go. And listen on 50.125, 50.130, 135 second weekend in June. It starts uh, 1 o'clock Eastern. Uh, so that's like 2 p.m. Uh, no, I'm sorry. 1 o'clock Central, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. And it goes around the clock until Sunday night. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is where all the fun's at, especially Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning. You're going to get some East skip. You're going to be talking for thousands of miles on just a few watts on six meters. There's a reason why they call it the magic band. All right, guys. 
and gals. Make your antenna. Get on the air. Second weekend in June. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Listen for KA5D Rover. From Austin, Texas, I'm Kyle. Take care.